Hi, I'm Jonathan Garrig, a program manager on the Windows Store team. Today, I'll be introducing you to the Windows Store app submission experience for developers. Let's say you have a great idea for a Windows 8 app. You also know that there's a lot of hard work between today and when you'll be ready to publish the finished app to the store. To get the security of knowing that the name you want will still be available to you when you finish your app, the first thing you can do is reserve the name of the app you're working on. From Visual Studio, you'll find a link to the Store Developer Portal. We designed this first page with transparency in mind. Here are all the steps for submitting an app with a rough estimate of how long each might take. The design sets expectations visually, so you can tell at a glance what sort of decisions you'll be asked to make in order to publish your app. Note that even though the first section is enabled, the links that allow you to learn more are available. You're free to dive right in, and you're also free to learn more about the options. We also order these steps very intentionally. We consistently heard from developers that the act of thinking through each step frequently inspires new features that require a code change. We want to make it natural for developers to reason through these questions before they upload their app package rather than after. We'll start by reserving a name, and then we'll touch on a few of those key questions that are worth considering before you finish your app. The Selling Details page contains basics like price and whether or not to offer a free trial, which is built in, you don't have to do any extra work. But if you want to hold a feature back from trial users, you have that option. It also covers where you'd like to sell your app and how users can find it. The Advanced Features page is completely optional. The only task here is to consider whether or not you'd like to implement either of these scenarios offered by the store in your app. Windows 8 has some great built-in capability for notifications to come right to your app's tile on the Start screen. When you reserved a name for your app, the store generated a unique app identity and provisioned your app for push notifications. Here you can find the information you need to align your local project with this identity assigned by the store. This enables you to test your app, including notifications, before you publish. For the purposes of this walkthrough, I've skipped ahead a little bit. Now let's upload an app package. Here we did a lot of thinking about how we could help developers align their app with the technical details that were assigned by the store, unique to this developer and to this app. From Visual Studio, I can see a list of apps that I've defined on the store and select the one that I'm about to upload. By doing so, I can produce a package containing all the unique details assigned by the store, name, identity, publisher, all under the hood. Also, before the package is uploaded, you can test it locally using the very same technical tests that the store runs during app certification. Consistent with our goal of validating things quickly rather than slowly, we crack open the package right after upload and check some of the basic requirements. Now I'm going to switch to another app that is ready to submit for certification. Note that both apps are listed on my dashboard, and you can see that the logo was extracted out of the package that I just uploaded. A lot of things are defined in my app package, including which languages the app supports. Since my weather app supports two languages, the store has automatically created a description page for each language. I'll briefly show you one of these. This page allows me to input all of the information that will help people learn about the app on the listing page in the store, including screenshots and promotional images. There's one set of this data for each language the app supports. Now before I submit, I'm going to review everything. I might even print out this page and have a colleague double check things for me. Now I'm ready to submit. My app is in certification. Here we understand that suddenly developers are out of the driver's seat and waiting for a result. We want to be transparent about how your app is progressing through certification. The design we created tracks the status of your app as it progresses through our certification process. You can tell at a glance how your app is doing, and we provide a rough estimate of how long we think each step is likely to take. Remember, the technical compliance test is the same Windows app certification kit that you can run before you upload your app. This gives you the predictability of knowing ahead of time that your app is likely to pass the technical tests. I've just shown you a sneak peek of the Windows Store app submission experience for developers. We're excited about helping you get your app into the Windows Store very soon. Thank you.